Today, the bond between tobacco and the Republican Party, now the majority in Congress, is stronger than ever. And as the FDA commissioner tries to regulate tobacco, he runs into enormous hostility. Excuse me, are you saying that the agency violated a court order here? The House Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations never mentioned tobacco when it held hearings on the FDA last December. I know the allegation. The, the question before you, Dr. Kessler... In fact, there have been no congressional hearings on tobacco since the Republicans took control of Congress, though the subcommittee has accused Dr. Kessler of mismanaging his agency and even of cheating on his expense account. He had not. I don't recall specifically. I would say that it was sometime during the The committee month. also accused Dr. Kessler's chief aide on tobacco, Mitch Zeller, of perjury, a charge he denies. Chair's going to regain... Representative Joe Barton of Texas is chairman of the subcommittee that investigated Dr. Kessler and the FDA. Do you honestly believe that the leaking of information about Dr. Kester and the accusations of Mr. Zeller on perjury have nothing whatsoever to do with their position on regulating tobacco? Let's see here. This is the Holy Bible. I'm a United Methodist. You know, I, I swear on everything that I hold dear to this country and to my family and to my God that my concern about FDA reform and my responsibilities and duties have absolutely nothing to do whatsoever with tobacco. What do you tell kids that really... But Dr. Kessler supporters do believe the real motive behind the recent FDA hearings is to cripple the agency so that Dr. Kessler cannot regulate tobacco. We know he violated a court order. The I, FDA has already told us this in writing. The tobacco industry has contributed I mean, significantly to most of the Republican members who investigated the FDA. When the tobacco companies give you money, what do you think they want from you? Um, well, not many do, even according to the people that comply, compile the list. Um, I've never quite a number do. RGR <coughs> gives you money. Brown and Williamson, Philip Morris, U.S. Tobacco, the Tobacco Institute, Nabisco. Um, I've never had anybody directly relating a tobacco uh, issue in this office. Um, so it's just, it's not an issue with me. It should be possible to have an intelligent policy debate on the merits uh, on our review process in this country for food, drugs, and medical devices. Uh, I have attempted to do that. 